<laughs> Everyone, can you hear me? Cool. Uh, so, name, oh, sorry. My name is Gerard O'Neill, uh, and I'm here to ask you to put some respect on my name. Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, you should look it up. It's just a meme. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, so what's on the agenda for today? Uh, we're going to be talking about validation of names, sanitization and rendering, uh, manual entry of names, and solutions to problems caused by all of the above. Uh, so I'm going to start off talking about validation. Um, so programmers are told to never trust user input, right? And this is fairly sane advice. You don't want people destroying your databases uh, or cross-site scripting on your website, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think programmers take it a bit too far sometimes um, because they'll start doing things like trying to make sure that your name is actually valid, right? So they'll do things like they'll have you separate your name into first, middle, and last name, um, which is a problem for some people. Um, they'll tell you you can't have any numbers, A through Z only. It has to be a certain number of characters, which can be a problem for people with short names or really long names. Um, so these aren't good things, right? Uh, but what brings me here? Why am I talking about this? Um, so my birth certificate and driver's license, or sorry, my social security number and driver's license don't have the apostrophe in my last name. My birth certificate does. My LA voter registration has a space instead of an apostrophe, which is an issue because it sorts it all the way to the top. And they, so they can never find it. And it takes me longer to vote as a result. Um, my friend Kay, her first name is just the letter K. She can't buy anything online uh, because credit card processors all say you have to have two or more characters in your first name, <laughs> which is not true. Um, it's, that's not a legal requirement. Uh, people with hyphenated names have a ton of problems uh, booking flights and airports and stuff. Um, there's actually a lot of information about this online. I would highly recommend looking it up. Um, and there's a, get like, there's a guy out there whose last name is Noel, and I feel so bad for this guy. Um, he has it way worse than I do, so if anything, I'm blessed. Um, and so here's a bunch of examples of people telling me that my last name is not valid, um, and it's very frustrating. Um, so uh, next, I want to talk about sanitization and rendering. Um, so again, right, programmers are told never trust user input, so we start sanitizing data. Um, and this is fine for the most part, except when you show the users the sanitized name. So um, people will do things like they'll replace special characters with HTML entities. So that's why my name sometimes looks like this. Um, or they'll escape apostrophes or quotes or whatever you want to call them. Um, so that's why my name looks like this sometimes on websites. Um, they'll remove non-English letters. Uh, so I've got a friend whose last name has an accent mark in it, but they just remove the accented character completely, butchers his name. Um, they'll capitalize names, um, which is a problem if you don't have a standard name with just one capital letter at the very beginning. Um, so here's a bunch of examples of the, the woes of me <laughs> on the internet. So it's interesting, Wiki Tribune uh, sometimes escapes it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, PayPal sometimes ruins the capitalization of my name, sometimes they don't. Um, but other than that, I just get a lot of sanitized name thrown at me uh, when, when they're rendering my name. My, my favorite one is this one right here. I don't know if everyone can see it, but United Airlines uh, combined my first name and middle initial. Uh, they didn't let me type the apostrophe in, and they lowercased the N in my last name. So they just completely ruined my name. Um, it's not fun, but uh, my favorite out of all the things that has ever happened to me is I once crashed OpenTable uh, simply by leaving a review. I just submitted my review and it crashed. Um, and it says that it detected a potentially dangerous input, which is my name. Um, so, so this stuff happens to me. Um, and it's crazy when you think about it, right? Because it, the application probably wouldn't crash if someone had an apostrophe in the review itself. But when it's a name, it's treated differently, um, which is why I'm here. <laughs> um, and next, I want to talk about manual entry, uh, which I'm not going to lie, I have no idea why anybody has manual entry anywhere in their process. Um, but here are some examples. Uh, my checkbook, uh, so my debit card has the apostrophe in it, uh, but my checkbook has a, a quote, a double quote. Um, so somebody just typed it wrong. I guess they were holding shift. Um, and <laughs> my... Uh, my healthcare card's really interesting as well. The first time that they gave me a healthcare card, it had the apostrophe, but then when I added my wife to the insurance, they removed the apostrophe. Um, I don't know if it was to save money on ink or if, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why, but somebody manually typed this in and that is a problem because people are going to mess that up. So please don't do that. Um, so I've talked about a bunch of problems. Uh, let's talk about some solutions. 
Um, how do you make sure a name is valid? Um, so I, I devised an insane algorithm. It's in TypeScript. If you don't know TypeScript, I hope you can understand it. But um, basically, what you do is you just make sure that the name has a length that's greater than zero. Um, because anything other than that is going to mess up things, right? Because um, pretend that this is my, uh, well, this isn't my name. But let's say I filled out a form with this as my name. Um, this will pass pretty much any single name validation algorithm, right? It's got first name and last name. It's got no numbers, only letters A through Z. And it's not too long. It's not too short. Um, so the, basically what I'm trying to say is you can't prevent somebody from entering a fake name into your form, right? Um, I do it all the time. If I don't want to give someone my name, I put my name as Herp Derp. Um, so the, you can't prevent it. So don't even try is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, what if a user doesn't capitalize their own name? Uh, I promise you that it's fine. Um, if someone hasn't bothered to type in their name correctly, then you don't need to show it to them correctly. It's OK. Um, but if you really, really want to capitalize their name, um, what you can do is you can do sort of what Vim does when you uh, try to search for text. Um, you can say, if there has been a capital letter in the string somewhere, then you can just leave it alone. Don't even bother capitalizing it, right? So when I type my name correctly, O apostrophe capital N E I L L, uh, you just say, oh, he capitalized his name. We're just going to let it be. Um, otherwise, you can go and capitalize it. But again, this isn't going to be perfect for every single name. Um, so I would recommend, again, just not touching it. But if you really, really want to, you can do it. Um, and again, if you use JavaScript, um, you can add smart capitalize to your repository as a dependency. I actually made this. Um, so check it out if you want. But again, I would prefer that you don't use this. Just don't touch anybody's name. <laughs> um, uh, so there are sometimes people want to separate first and last name uh, so that they can say, like, hey, Gerard, in an email instead of, hey, Gerard O'Neill. Um, if, if that's the case, nobody cares, right? You don't need to be like a cool, casual startup. Um, you can just address people by their full name. No, I get emails with my last name all the time. It doesn't offend me. Um, so I don't have any numbers to back this up, but please don't separate first and last name if you don't have to. Um, but some people actually have a problem, right? Like they have some sort of dependency or partner where they're like, uh, you need to give us names without any characters beyond A through Z, right? Um, so then the, so then some, you know, programmers will offload that onto the user and be like, hey, sorry, no, no apostrophes allowed. Um, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, so one thing you can do um, is you can have a, a name field in your database and a sanitized name in your database. Um, so that way, like, you can show me my name with the apostrophe, and then you can send that to your partner without the apostrophe, and then everyone's happy, right? Um, and if you're afraid to do that yourself, which you should be, you can do something like this. Uh, this is a mouthful. <laughs> um, I would recommend hiring a copywriter. Don't, don't hire me for that. I'm a programmer. But um, I've never seen anyone do this. I would love to see someone do this. If you detect you know, your validation algorithm, if it detects that there is something in there that you don't want, you can say, hey, user, uh, we have this crappy partner that doesn't like that. Can you just type it in how you would have typed it if we didn't let you submit the form, right? Because you're going to make them do that anyway, probably. So just display their name, send the garbage name to the provider, right? Um, that's, that's my recommendation. I would love to see that more often, um, or even once in my life. Um, what about Bobby, uh, Bobby Tables, right? He's going to destroy your database, um, which is why my name gets butchered so much. Um, so one thing you could do is you could use prepared statements if you're using an SQL database. Um, you probably already are. They're fairly standard now, I think. I would hope. <laughs> um, and also, you know, sanitize your input, but just make sure don't display that sanitized input to the user. So if you are going to replace my apostrophe with ampersand pound sign 39 semicolon, just don't show me that because um, I don't need to see that. It's very frustrating. Um, if you're using Python 2, I would highly recommend getting another job <laughs> or uh, upgrade because it's been 10 years. There's no reason to use Python 2 anymore. Um, is there anything else? Yes. Uh, you can put some RSpec on my name. Um, so just write tests, right? If you have any logic around names at all, which you shouldn't because you should just treat them like normal strings, just like everything else, right? Biographies, descriptions, titles. Just treat names exactly like that. But if you must, write some tests. Um, you should be writing them anyway. Um, and I want to leave off with uh, 
basically just don't make assumptions about names, right? Uh, not everyone's name conforms to some standard. Um, so if you ever are writing code and it's name specific, ask yourself, am I making assumptions about names? If you are, they're probably wrong uh, for some percentage of names, even if it's a small percentage. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. Again, my name is Gerard O'Neill. You can uh, follow me on Twitter at GerardB. And I guess I'm staying around for questions for a little. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I mean, because um, again, I feel like names are pretty much just strings like anything else, right? So, like, if I was leaving a review, again, like on open table, right, I probably would not have, I don't know, what, what's an insane character? Uh, I have no, I probably wouldn't leave a backtick in it, right? Because that's just like not something people actually write. Um, but yeah, I, I think there are some that you could probably remove, like, you know, the, uh, less than equal, equal than signs. Um, but, but yeah, it, it just sort of becomes like, if you go down that route, now you have to like try to prevent everything. Um, and you have to try to know everything. Um, and yeah, people are gonna leave fake names if they want anyway. So uh, I would say save time, save money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there are, there are, in short, yeah, probably, but why even, it doesn't. But I guess you can't really rule out that like Kanye West is gonna have next to get Amberson or something. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, you never know. <laughs> Uh, me specifically, or? Well, just in your experience or, or knowledge. Oh, like, have I typed in my name and exposed security flaws in someone? Well, yeah, like if you don't validate, if you lock every possible character, or right. expose the security flaws. Um, I mean, maybe. I, I mean, I think it depends on sort of your specific tech stack and whatnot, right? Like a lot of a lot of like frameworks these days will just do it for you. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, again, you. Like validation is separate from sanitization. Like I think you should always sanitize your input, but you don't necessarily need to validate those out, right? Because again, sort of in the in the case of leaving a review, like they're not they're definitely not validating any characters in there, right? But like typing an apostrophe isn't crashing the website. Um, so as long as you as long as you treat it like any other string, like don't trust it, but sanitize it and display it correctly, then you'll probably be fine like ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Yeah, thanks.